So recently I've been thinking about how can I elevate my Instagram Reels to the next level, how can I make them more cinematic, how can I up the quality and how can I make them, you know, just better overall. And uh, today I'm gonna spend the entire day recording Reels, something that I don't usually do. It was always the thing on the side, but you know, I'm lucky enough to have such a huge following now on Instagram that I know if I do a good job that they will be seen by a lot of people and that is quite motivating in itself and you know I just feel like might as well see how far I can push this thing. So in today's video I'll take you behind the scenes, you'll see how I record stuff and uh, I'll talk about my process. It's gonna rain later tonight and uh, we're gonna head out. First thing, I've always been a big advocate of shooting reels and TikToks on your phone directly because it's just so much easier, the workflow is so much faster and uh, the quality difference was never really worth the trade-off for me. But obviously, if you shoot with a real camera, it's gonna be a little bit better. So today I got my Zhiyun M3 gimbal, lightweight gimbal and the Sony A7S III and also the other camera and the umbrella and a heavy bag. I feel like a mule is why I usually use a phone, but let's see if it's gonna be worth it. Using a real camera makes it possible to shoot high frame rates, even at low light. For regular night footage, I think a phone is fine, but if you want to go above 24 FPS, it starts breaking down quite quickly. So if you want to shoot 60 FPS and then play it back at 24, for example, this is something that isn't really possible with a phone at night, and this is something that really helps your footage stand out from the rest. So when it comes to the shooting part or the composition, there's a couple of options. The best option is to shoot in the portrait mode. The problem with that is it's a little bit difficult to see what you're shooting sometimes. So if your lens is wide enough and you remember to compose in a way where you can crop into the footage, it's often better to simply use a very wide angle lens and shoot in the regular horizontal aspect ratio. And of course, one more benefit of shooting this kind of a horizontal aspect ratio is you can later reuse the footage to optionally create these stacked reels that you can very easily do on Premiere Pro or a YouTube channel or whatever more traditional type of video you might be working on. One more thing I've been doing is adding audio effects, not in real life, but in post. One thing that I've been noticing recently is that whenever a reel stands out to me as being extra cinematic, the creator usually added sound effects. It doesn't have to be super complicated. You can literally just search for sounds on CapCut, for example. And even a simple sound can make a big difference. What I wouldn't recommend is searching for sound effects on Instagram's app, unless you want this. <laughs> So I'm gonna jump onto the GoPro here as I record more scenes here at night. You might have seen these reels on my Instagram recently as well. So one more thing I've been doing recently is to keep my scenes short and sweet. I think people often keep their cuts a little bit too long or their reels in general a little bit too long. So even though I'm recording a lot here, I'm quite ruthless when it comes to the cutting process. Most of these clips will never even be used. And even out of the best ones that will be used, I will go and select the best moments that will be used. And unfortunately, this is something you gotta learn. You gotta be a little bit harsh on the work that you record and learn how to only include the best parts if you really wanna succeed at the social media game or, you know, filmmaking in general, I guess. Just show your best stuff and record more. Now the next tip to bring your sharp videos to the next level is start utilizing lens filters. One of my favorite filters at the moment has been the Promise filter that adds a dreamy glow to my photos. And if you do use a proper camera, using different focal lengths of lenses helps you stand out and makes your footage more cinematic. I like to use a wide angle for the moving shots and the establishing shots, but I also shoot a lot with a 50mm f1.2 and this is a lens that gives me a lot more depth of field and I guess a more cinematic type of a look at times. So I just got home, that was a long day. I'm gonna start editing the reels after a little bit of a break, which I need to be honest. Either way, for those of you who wanna learn even more depth on how I edit and market and shoot and everything 
behind these Instagram Reels, I have an announcement to make. This is my brand new Instagram Reels course that I've been working on for the past few months. Earlier this year, I released kind of a prototype of this course, and due to the overwhelming response, I decided to update it. Over the past six months, I've learned so much about making these Reels, and there's a surprising amount that actually goes into it. A lot of people will watch a YouTube video or hear that Reels are what work, but it usually takes them quite a while to figure things out. Things aren't as simple as it seems, it's not always as simple to start making reels as you would think. I've learned so much about the algorithm and shooting and editing that if you really want to tap into this potential, you should consider getting this course. It'll save you a lot of time and give you a lot of information that you're not really going to find anywhere else. Because there seems to be very few people who are actually properly studying the reels algorithm to this level. And we also go over the basics of shooting, choosing a camera, editing, trending audio, the importance of audio, audio editing, all that stuff is going to be included. And you get free access to my LUT pack. And for my YouTube followers, check out my pinned comment for a promo code if you watch this video early. Otherwise, there's probably just going to be an update on there. But either way, every single trick and knowledge that I've learned about making viral cinematic Instagram reels is going to be covered in this course. So you can check that out in the description. And I also got a bunch more videos related to the topic on this channel, of course. Hope you enjoyed this one.